Scottish Championship action today as Dunfermline take on Queen of the South. It's the first time that I'm back on the channel with some Dunfermline match day content. I can't say I'm that enthusiastic about what the end result will be in this game. We've not been on good form in the last four or five months, so I'm not too optimistic. We'll wait and see what happens. I'm expecting a draw, if anything else. Address a couple of elephants in the room, just off the bat. I'm wearing a jacket, because it's a wee bit cold, in this specific room that I'm in in my house. And the hat, well... Oh my god! Yep. That's why. Need to get to those barbers. Probably... I don't know. Just whenever I can be bothered. I'm lazy. Gonna be going off to my dad's once again. I'll be driving this time, so you might get a wee bit of car content on the way to the game. We'll wait and see on that one. However, you'll be guaranteed some match day coverage of... Dunfermline vs Queen of the South. Come on! What's the score going to be the day then, Hen? You tell me. Hmm? Wish you could reassure me. Tell me. Two no pars, eh? Two no pars? Just try to self comfort myself with anything that I possibly can. A dog that can't speak English has just told me we're going to win. I'll take that. Yesterday it was all about going upstairs. We come very good upstairs. And out the door. Right, I think you're set up. Now, you're in the car. By Jinx, that was not an easy setup of a camera. You are suction cupped against the window at the moment. I really hope you can see my full body because that is the best angle that I can get yet. Lads, I'm very sorry. I've pulled up. I was filming car content, but one, my face was nearly shot. Then, the camera was shaking about all over the place on the tripod. But a shit show. Push! That's what I think of that. Let's go anyway. Well, I apologise for the failed attempt at doing some car content. Let's hope it's a more conclusive rest of the video in terms of Dunfermline getting out on that pitch and scoring some goals. We need it. We need it. We need it. Oh no, we're back. The stairs. I'm not going to record myself running at home this time. That was extremely embarrassing yesterday. Nine seconds. Mm. I'll take that time, but falling at the very last hurdle was not funny. Yeah, this door is always tight. Extremely tight. It's like trying to really break into a house. Or is he just locked it? Cheers. Well, here we are, Pars TV for the second last time this season. That's me obviously saying that we're just not going to make the playoffs because I'm not even confident at this point. Oh, pull the muscle. That's terrible. But anyway, here we are. Players are coming out. Wait, we kick off. Come on, the Pars. Good enough chance, I was not really that. Convinced it was ever going to cause any ball, the goalie was nearly off his line. Don't know why he tried to chip instead of just hit a shot, but anyway. There's a shot. Well, then. Saved, then yes! Oh. Yes! He's got a good goal scoring ratio, that man. Right there, at the right time. Ron Ferguson. I don't know, could he have done better? Could he have held on to the shot? Pammed it right into the path of Kevin O'Hara, who was just waiting to tap it in. 1 0 Dunfermlin. Can I argue with this? We've got a goal in the first 10 minutes. It's what I've been lacking, especially in the last game away at Queen of the South, actually. Missed the early penalty and then they went on to win the game 1 0. So hopefully it's a good week omen for us. Would you call it a tap in? Aye. <laughs> like three yards. Now just any concede to keep a clean sheet and you've won the game. Fantastic. Shoot. Oh. Let's go with a goal. Oh. Uh, I should have scored there, really. Some of the chances that I've seen McManus have this season it had to be a goal, really. Had to just smash it past the keeper across his body. Let's get a shoot. We had a decent enough we have for us. We've been a better team, had more chances. I don't think Queens have really had any shots except for maybe the one that Mabudi had just recently. So there's really not been much for their regard. And for us, eh, decent half and we're 1 0 up. You can't argue with it. Oh god. 
Connor Shields is in here. Good save. Ball in between the defenders. And he got the shot away, but good save. God. Oh, good save again. Half time, 1 0 pass. Bit of change, we're winning a game. Halfway there, 1 0 pass. In the second half. 45 minutes, win the game, or the playoffs are officially dead. It will basically be confirmed at that point. Go on then. Go on then, go! Oh. Good play for Whiten, but hard to score that. Get the second goal in the game's done nothing. Queen's on the off and ends on an attacking threat. Whiten's through here. Shoot! Oh! Great chance again! Yeah. Jesus! Only takes one chance if we're not going to take ours, it only takes one chance for Queen's to get back in it. Thomas has played brilliantly the day. <laughs> Go on then, score! Yes! Fraser Murray! Dom Thomas, by the way. Aye, oh, oh, oh. He's had a brilliant game the day. One of his better games of the season, you've got to say. He's I can't mind when he last played this well in a full 90 minutes. 2 0, that's game over. Queens have barely looked like scoring in this second half, and we're now 2 0 up. Somehow the left back's found himself in the six yard box, tapping it in. We consolation go for Queens, hopefully that's all it is. 2 1, five minutes to go. He's on side. Oh, he's knocked it quite far. Dom Thomas. Could be a goal. Yes. Come on. But he's <laughs> gone mad. Ewan Henderson's first goal. Phantom Fenlon. Fantastic. Dom Thomas with three assists today, has to be said. Well done to the man. Man of the match. And a win. Finally, three goals as well. Where's that come from? There's just picked back up! Confirm on screen! For context, I had both teams to score and what I could to get booked in a McBookie bet builder. In the 93rd minute, I think Whitaker's been booked for a stupid wee foul at the end of the game. I need to confirm this. BBC confirmed he got booked. Get in there! That is what you want to see. Full time, Dunfermline 3, Queen of the South 1. A fantastic result for the Pars back in the playoffs and the pressure is all on Inverness now on Tuesday night against Dundee. They have to win or we're in the playoffs and it's in our hands. How has it happened? How is this happening? That's it for this video guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please go a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game, anything you want. Subscribe for more of this type of content and until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers guys. Up with Stephen Whitaker.